Uh, I think I'm live. Live your zero. Hello everyone. Uh, hi, uh, I think I'm live now. Uh, I was uh, just looking at whether I was live and uh, or not. Hi, um, um, so I'm Mohit. I'll, before starting of the session, let me introduce myself. So who am I? Um, I uh, I'm Mohit. I work for Scalar. Uh, I am uh, one of the senior engineers over here. I primarily take classes on system design over here. Prior to work, uh, joining Scalar, I was working uh, with Hotstar as a senior uh, engineer over there. And then I uh, joined Nutanix. Uh, there also I led a uh, few teams and uh, built some data platforms. And the agenda uh, for this particular session is to give you a brief about what I will, will be uh, covering in tomorrow's masterclass, right? Uh, which is around designing, how do you build a data platform for, that can serve millions of users right and we'll start from scratch uh, right i uh, will start from how if if i give you just one api what are the challenges involved in scaling it what is the v0 of a particular api then how do you keep on adding complexities to just one api for example if you're just building a counter uh, the number of live users on a particular platform if the number of users also increase to uh, let's say millions or billions one server will not be able to count those, those many users. So how do you distribute or uh, you know break that particular problem into pieces so that uh, your system can serve to uh, millions or maybe billions of users? And uh, we look at uh, two problems primarily. Uh, the first problem that we are going to look at is how do you design a homepage for a OTT platform, be it uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hotstar, any uh, any kind of uh, streaming video streaming platform that you might have came across. Uh, so we'll look into designing a homepage for that. What are the challenges involved in doing? Uh, uh, what are the challenges involved in making such kind of a, a system? And the second problem that we are going to look at is basically designing a video ingestion uh, pipeline. The differences between the first part and the second part is primarily that uh, the first part involves heavily cached systems and the second part is basically designing uh, the system where your uh, the video processing will basically happen for a longer period of time so uh, the chances of if a machine goes down or how do you handle it and those kind of topics will be covered so if in a nutshell what we are going to look at tomorrow uh, in the master class that is scheduled at 5 pm is basically how do you design a system uh, for massive scale, right? Uh, in the earlier master classes, we have conducted uh, several uh, other master classes in the past where we have taught some basic building blocks like data structures, algorithms. We have also covered some low level designing. Last uh, week, I think uh, we covered uh, how do you design uh, Facebook Messenger app or how do you build any kind of a Messenger app uh, per se. Uh, in this class, we'll primarily look at queuing systems as well and how do you use queues uh, to uh, to get a higher throughput uh, or to handle a higher throughput, what in what cases can you uh, can you basically have a async uh, like when you have a async system, then only you'll be able to use a queuing system. So when it makes sense to use a queue and when it doesn't, uh, if you can't use a queue, what are the options to scale? So those are the things that we are will be covering in tomorrow uh, tomorrow's lecture. Uh, the lecture is free for all, so please feel free to register it, uh, register on our website for tomorrow's uh, class. Uh, the only uh, caveat is that uh, you should have at least one year of experience. I hope there are um, people who have joined. Uh, there are many people who have uh, more than one year of experience and uh, are working in any company, uh, be it a product company or a service company. Uh, it doesn't matter which company you work for, uh, but uh, 
we'll basically cover uh, like anyone who has one year of experience that this class is, will basically be meaningful for them having said that there are few things uh, that uh, i'll assume that you have uh, basic knowledge about uh, you know replication caching and sharding you are aware of what is a rest api uh, you are aware of you know ba basics of uh, computer basics basically it's uh, some bit of networking or dbms um, you are aware of uh, what uh, rds system or, or rdbms system looks like so these are the things that i'll assume that you guys know and you know basics what is a queue a uh, queue is a data structures and uh, i don't uh, i would not go into details about you know whether you should use a rabbit mq or whether you should use a uh, uh, kafka or basically the buzzwords we'll primarily focus upon building a tech uh, you know what should be uh, in terms of the methodology what are the kind of technology that you should use rather than you know uh, sticking into one tech stack like uh, uh, for example uh, i we will not go into details like um, if you are uh, if you have to use a queue use kafka but rather we we'll look at the characteristics that we would require in a queue for example we might need persistence we might need a uh, querying capability so what is the capability uh, that a particular queue should have so that if once you understand the basics then you can uh, go back and read uh, papers about uh, any kind of a que queuing system uh, and understand how that is uh, that particular thing is done um so that is basically the agenda for tomorrow uh, right uh, so for designing the uh, home uh, so the two problems are right uh, first is designing home page and the second is uh, video ingestion uh, for a very large company uh, like uh, youtube or maybe netflix where uh, once you upload a video there are multiple steps involved in a, in this particular uh, process so uh, the, a particular video goes through content moderation then uh, once you upload a 1080p uh, video the, uh, there is one step to downscale it to four, uh, you know 320p or 480p uh kind of a video then you generate the thumbnails automatically uh, give a user the uh, like whoever is uh, uploading a video you give uh flexibility to that particular user that he can change or edit the thumb thumbnails there are video previews that are available nowadays on youtube so those kind of things uh, we are going to look at in the second problem and uh today is primarily the uh, uh you know i'm uh, inviting all of you to, guys to join tomorrow's uh, class and i wanted to lay context about uh what we are going to be covering in tomorrow's master uh, free master class right and uh, so this free master class uh, is basically an initiative by scalar.com uh, uh, like uh, our company scalar uh, which basically wants to uh, educate as many people as you can uh, as we can so we take uh, free master classes every uh, uh, like we try to keep uh, one class at least every week and uh, the topics that we cover is primarily uh, are primarily the topics that will help you to become a better engineer right uh, be it uh in uh, whatever company that you are working at right uh we it is uh it does not uh, depend upon what kind of level you are uh, you might be uh, at an sd1 or an sd2 or an sd3 there are uh, folks who have uh, you know uh, many years of experience who have also joined and you know leveraged out of the program uh leverage something out of the program so these are the things that we uh, do cover in the uh, curriculum but um tomorrow's master class will primarily be in the uh, in these two topics uh any questions uh, by the way guys uh i'll uh, any questions uh, that i might uh, that you want me to answer or uh, no questions any expectation that you want me to cover in tomorrow's uh, by the way uh, a quick plus one if you guys uh, uh, are actually uh, you know uh, planning to uh, attend tomorrow's lecture and if you want me to cover a certain topic uh, that would be 
uh, you know, uh, that would also be uh, like we can put it uh, uh, to our team and we might have a another masterclass uh, for uh, that particular topic. <clears throat> so I pasted the registration link here. It's scalar.com event, how to build a data uh, platform like Hotstar. That is the link. So today's agenda, Naveen, uh, was just to uh, brief you about what kind of uh, uh, topics that we'll be covering tomorrow. Uh, and this was primarily, uh, uh, you know, we wanted to invite everybody to uh, tomorrow's masterclass. That's why we wanted, if anybody has, uh, has questions regarding any expectations uh, or, um, you know, uh, what kind of topics we'll be covering tomorrow. That is something we wanted to cover today. Uh, Virendra, uh, uh, so I think I, I've answered the uh, your question, which was uh, the agenda of masterclass that is supposed to happen tomorrow. The agenda is to discuss two problems. The first is uh, tomorrow's lecture will primarily be a system design lecture, right? Uh, and the first problem uh, that we are going to discuss is de designing a homepage of an OTT platform. And uh, the uh, second uh, problem that we are going to discuss is designing a video ingestion pipeline. Uh, so how do you, uh, there is a lot of activities that goes in uh, to show how a particular video is ingested. Uh, for example, if you, uh, if you upload a video on YouTube, it is not immediately available to the entire world, right? It ta YouTube takes certain time to process that particular video and then only it is available. For example, if Netflix uh, releases something, some new episode, or let's say Sacred Games 2 is getting released. So uh, before releasing it to the public, uh, it is not uh, like you just upload a video on some uh, uh, somewhere and uh, it will be available to the entire world. There are multiple steps that are involved uh, before a video is, you know, uh, the end users can consume a particular video. So we look at what are the steps involved and how uh how do you design uh those steps uh at a you know bird eye view uh i'll give you a bird eye view and then we'll dig deeper into uh the uh, designing that so uh shivam says i'm interested in how network failure is handled in video streaming uh unfortunately for tomorrow uh shivam we won't be covering that uh we can take one more session uh which will just uh tell you about how video streaming happens. So tomorrow's session is primarily about ingestion and scaling a particular API. Uh, if you, will it be completely theoretical? Uh, no, uh, I'll give you practical insights that I've gained uh, uh, Arpit uh, over the uh, you know last eight years uh, of my career. And uh, practical in the sense, what are the challenges that I faced uh, when we were designing that uh, particular system? So uh, if you have attended the uh, masterclass around Facebook Messenger, this will be uh, in line with that kind of a uh, uh, that kind of an approach itself, uh, right? Uh, it won't be completely theoretical. It will be insights that we have, uh, you know, uh, gained over the past eight years. Now, any other question, guys? So the registration link would be uh, there in the uh, description. So you can just uh, look at the description and uh, find the uh, uh, link where you can register for the class. Cool guys, any other questions are before I leave? Uh, I think there are no questions. Cool. Uh, so uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I hope to see you uh, tomorrow. Uh, the class starts at five. And uh, it will be an interactive session. So you can ask questions tomorrow as well. Uh, if you don't understand uh, anything that I'm explaining, please feel free to ask questions tomorrow as well. Uh, and I hope to see everybody uh, tomorrow. Uh, okay, uh, I'll take one more question, which is by Ayush. Uh, are there any prerequisites for the same? So Ayush, uh, uh, there are no prerequisites as such. It is a system design uh, kind of a, uh, uh, role. Uh, the only thing is that you should be uh, having at least one year of experience so that you know uh, you understand basic 
building blocks of a system. For example, you understand what a load, if I say load balancer, you know what a load balancer is. If I say a server, you know what a server is. If I say, uh, let's say a virtual machine, you know what a, what a virtual machine is. So basic lingo uh, is something that we uh, I will assume that everybody knows. Apart from that, it is good to have some knowledge about caching, replication, and uh, sharding. So these are the three things that we'll assume that, uh, you know, uh, uh, assume to a certain extent, we'll touch upon uh, these topics tomorrow as well. I'll give you a brief idea about uh, what these topics are and uh, we'll see how to use combinations of each of them uh, to design a, a you know massively scalable system uh, so uh, people uh, for folks who are asking for the registration link uh, it's there in the description cool uh, any other question guys uh, All right, uh, so I'll end the broadcast here. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh,